So I care for my um, three younger brothers um, and I sort of help out around the house. I do um, the washing, I make sure the clothes get dried and I do the dishes and sometimes I cook for them. Um, I really love baking um, but I also help my mum because she was diagnosed with um, cancer earlier this year. It's a little bit difficult when I'm caring. Um, some of the challenges I face are um, just my brothers being um, not cooperative or uh, mum's a little bit too tired to help out so I have to do everything. But mostly it's just it's just a lot of fun because I love, I love um, hanging out with my brothers. Yeah. Um, my second youngest brother, David, he uh, is deaf and I think I'm probably the most connected with him out of all three of the brothers just because uh, our communication is like way easier and um, sometimes when we're like having a conversation he finishes my sentence or like he says something and I already know how he's gonna um, finish and yeah, it's, I'm probably the most close with him. And then my third youngest brother, Liam, he has a global delay. So uh, communication and connection's really hard. Uh, he can't really talk and he can't really process information. And um, I sort of help him the most. Um, we didn't really have a great relationship before, but we're a lot closer now. All three of my brothers either went to school or are in school right now. My oldest brother, James, he uh, has left school. He's 20 now. He doesn't currently have a job, he, so he's at home most of the days. But uh, I make sure to take him out of the house and if I have to go shopping, I take him with me. Um, uh, my second youngest brother, he's doing the HSC right now and it's just incredible what he's doing. He's he's doing like three major works and um, he's got so much on his plate and I just don't know how he did it because I only did two major works and um, I'm just so impressed by him. And um, yeah, all of my brothers got help at school. They um, go to a school where there's a, like a learning centre so you can go there if you need help or if you have a disability and they sort of guide you through the lessons and make sure you really understand it, which is really good. It's been a bit difficult having three brothers with disabilities um, just because it puts a lot of pressure on my mum and I to look after them and make sure they're okay. Um, my parents aren't actually together anymore um, but they they were during most of um, my brother's childhood and during my childhood so I think there's definitely a lot of pressure on our family. Having three um, all, all three of my brothers really want to move out of the house and sort of start their own lives um, and I just hope they can they can do that and be okay, you know. Um, my youngest brother, Liam, he really, really, really wants to work at McDonald's. So I really, I hope he gets to achieve that dream, yeah. When I'm out with my brothers, it's always really difficult when people sort of come up to you out of nowhere and. Um, are all surprised at how, um, I guess, different your, my brothers are. Um, and honestly, I just wish they wouldn't be so, like, probing. And they're always wanting to know more and how it, it's like at home and how I deal with it. And I would love if they just realised that that was my life and they could just move on with their day and not have to know everything. Um, because that's just every day for me. 
So I like to bake in my free time. I like to make little experiments and my boyfriend's always up for eating them, which is really good. Um, and I, I work across like everything. So I love reading. Um, I love like technology and like video games. I really want to start a family. Um, I have, I actually have such a supportive boyfriend and I'm so lucky. He completely understands my situation and he's so good with my brothers. So I just see that and I really want to start a family and, um, and I've got everything planned and I, I know how many kids I want and what gender they want to, they are and yeah, I just, that's my big, my big goal. If you're a young carer, it's really important to look after yourself as well as the person that you're caring for. This may include doing things you love or taking some time for yourself. You could go for long walks on the beach, you could hang out with your friends, as long as you're do doing something you enjoy. If you're really stressed or worried about something, you can always call the Young Carers Helpline on this number. The following organisations and services offer support for young carers. Go check them out. 